see what I go on here, dog. Welcome. If you're a new viewer here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today, slaughter shot and killed, double murder in Clarendon and 16-year-old gang leader arrested. A shooting incident was reported yesterday in the vicinity of Mullines Road where it is said that a man known as Slaughter was shot and killed while driving his BMW. So viewers and subscribers, the man did a drive while them Lego them bullet pan him and I like saying did park and they one place or in the out and stand up at one place. No, he was driving. So the car basically run off of the road in some bushes. No other injuries was reported. He was traveling alone in the car. And yes, of course, there is a video. But if you want the video, you can always shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'm going to send the video come go. I'm not going to put a full clip in the video in this. I'll do a me give you a little sneak peek in the first part that I just phone a sister. Yes, the video is there, but I'm not going to drop the full video over here so as I said earlier. So if you want the video, feel free to DM me on Instagram at Chop City TV. That is C H O P C I T Y underscore TV. Make me know say at the video on the combo. And also, if you want to be added to my Chop City TV group, all you have to do is send me a DM and state say you want to be added to the group. It is that simple. I want to have to ask me for an update and I get it as me get it. That's the difference. There is not a lot of information about slaughter at this moment. So as soon as the details come out, you know, me will come back and update you know, as to where I come from and his real name and all that but for anybody who know a man go by the name of slaughter or drive a bmw it's a drop top bmw i in me attack we don't know exactly where it's from or what is his real name as I stated earlier and me know a lot of people are gonna say slaughter okay the name says it all but we're not gonna jump to conclusion or we're not gonna judge nobody over here so because you know some people call a name and the name do stick it not really have nothing for do with you sometime even though them say jamaicans gear your name off or how you look and how you behave and that's how it stick on you so once it no match up to you the name naga stick but for now we're not going to judge the situation or we're not going to go on like one jump to conclusion until the full details is out because in this case it look like a little toops a bad minded around him or something it just sound like one little toops a bad minded somewhere there so so we're not going to go down in it yet but anybody will come from the area where this incident happened or might have more details you can always feel free for DM me on instagram also or you can always leave it down in the comment section and make you know what you hear or what you think or what somebody will come from this or you know know Investigators from the Clarendon Police Division are still trying to establish a motive for a double murder in the parish last night. The deceased has been identified as 44-year-old Vincent Simpson, otherwise called Billy Branford R. Spanglers, a shop operator of Penance Wood, and Joshua Linton, otherwise called Wacky, of Church Lane, both in Racetrack, Clarendon. According to the police, sometime around 9 p.m., residents heard loud explosion and informed the police who, upon arrival, saw two men with what appeared to be multiple gunshot wounds at a shop. They were transported to the May Pen Hospital, where they were pronounced dead. This is a second double murder in racetrack community in less than a month. In late January, 55-year-old Green and Walters, otherwise called Paula, and her common law spouse, who was only identified as Germaine, were murdered at their home. Investigations are ongoing. A 16-year-old boy who is alleged to be the leader of the latest criminal gang called the Bedbugs Gang in Spanish Town St. Catherine is now in police custody and to face multiple charges. The teenager is the son of a former leader 
of another notorious criminal gang which operates out of Spanish town. His father was fatally shot by gunmen in 2016 and 15 years later the son is believed to be managing a new gang which has linked to several criminal activities since recent months. According to sources, members of the gang armed with high-powered weapons recently robbed several vendors in the town market before demanding extortion money from some. The sources say the activities of the gangsters have come to draw the attention of the police, with cops now carrying out operations targeting them. Yesterday, the Constabulary Force Operations Unit reported that the St. Catherine North Police have dealt with a significant blow of the Bedbugs Gang which has been responsible for the recent flare-up of violence in the division. According to the CCU, as the counter gang's tragedy continues in the division, several operations have been conducted with the aim of disturbing the activities of the gang and protecting the life of the livelihood of the people in Spanish town and the vendors. The CCU said three young men believed to be members of the gang were taken into custody following a series of technology and intelligence driven operations in Winster Road and other nearby communities. It was further reported that about 4.15 Thursday afternoon, a joint military operation was launched in El Prada Vista community in Spanish Town, which resulted in the arrest of the teen gang leader. This came after a similar operation on Wednesday in the community. During the operation, a group of men flee the scene. Upon seeing the police military team, members of the team chased and eventually cross-caught them. A pistol along with magazine containing 14 9mm rounds was reportedly taken from 18-year-old Shendard Allen, otherwise known as 21, who hails from Spanish Town address and is an alleged member of the Bedbugs gang. One week earlier, during a target operation, the police arrested 23-year-old music producer Eldon Edwards, otherwise known as Bush R.D., of the Winster Road address. He was reported to held with a 9mm pistol and 15 rounds of ammunition. Spanish Town is also home to the narrator's one, otherwise called Klangsman Gang. The St. Catherine Nerd Police Division has recorded almost 20 murders since the start of the year. This is the main reason why I always say when you take away a gang leader three points or a member of a gang three points and them have kids, it not done worse if the picnic have enough sense for understand what did happen or somebody from the family member decides to tell them what exactly happened or tell them it in a freedom way how it happened. You understand? It don't done. How it for done? The people them go on grow up and know how them father drop out. Them go on know. And once them grow up and feel like say them father never did forgot that way, them go come be the same person or even worse than them father. Because all na them heart or all na them mind is revenge. And them not stop until them feel pleased within themselves. So we don't have to know what we want to do and how we want to tell the people about them passing and them parents.